Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm going to show you how to get some free plants. No joke, free plants. You know how I do my greenhouses? Well, I propagate in these greenhouses because it works so good. Not only seeds, but propagating all kinds of cuttings from plants that I've got. So let me show you how I got free plants. And you can do it too. Don't tell anybody. So I got these at the store. People bought plants and they broke. This actually here has enough of the geranium. I should be able to get that to grow. It's tight, but I think I can do it. The flower won't grow. So we want to clip this up. So let's get some soil in here first. Might put some kitty soil, kitty litter on the bottom of these pots. It weighs them down good. It holds a little water in there. Okay, and now we're just gonna get the soil to the top and then I'll give it a good watering after I set it up. When we went to Home Depot, I was checking the carts that were out in the parking lot and Gary was loading the car and I saw that people bought plants and some of them broke. Okay, so let's start with this one. Now, sometimes you can propagate geraniums by the leaves, but we're not gonna be able to do this because that leaf is dead. So we're gonna get this off I'm not even going to compost that. Now, the flower is going to pull. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the flower. But because I want to remember this is a white one, I'm going to push that in there. We don't need to. Now this, I'm going to leave both leaves. And then the next day or two, I may take the other leaf off. Let me see how it looks. Because it's really tight. This is the only part that may root. You know what? Let's remove one leaf. We want to make sure this plant has enough energy to grow. So I'm going to bury that pretty good. And just because sometimes leaves can start to grow from the center, I'm going to make sure you can see that. We're going to go ahead and put that leaf in there. It probably won't, but we'll do that. And then here, the reason I like kitty litter, it holds the plants in place really good. This is clay, cheap, old kitty litter. Nothing else in there. The cheapest kitty litter you can get and don't use used kitty litter. You don't want to handle that. Okay. Now I'll put, set that up and give it a good water. Just leave it like that and we'll see what happens. It's very small. Should have had a tighter, better, better, longer stem, but it didn't. Okay, now this, I'm not even sure what it is. It's got flowers. It looks like a jade plant. But I see variegated. Now, I'm not crazy about jade plants. I'm going to take the flower off. But I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this rooted. So let's take off some of the leaves. Now, there's two close there. And jade plants, they're so easy to propagate. It's not funny. Now, this looks like it's been broke on the plant for a while. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. Just because it might grow, we'll just push it off to the side. It's not going to hurt anything. If it makes it, it makes it. Now this I'm gonna leave just the way it is. I might remove a couple of the leaves. And if you see the leaves are struggling later, you can always take them off. Okay, now we've got this. I should be using a pencil. Normally I'd have the soil wet. It's raining anyways right now. I'm gonna push that all the way down inside. Now with the leaves, because they will grow as well, They'll grow a root in a plant. I'm gonna put that around. It's getting quick, because it is raining. We're not gonna get fancy with this right now. And that's it. Now I'm gonna load this on there. I'm gonna cover the leaves, and I'm gonna give this a good watering. And now I'm gonna put this in my mini greenhouse, and that's it. Actually, I have one more leaf. I'm just sticking in anyway. I have too many. I don't even want that many jade plants. Okay, now let's get this watered and put away. So there's the first one. I'm not going to do anything fancy. No, you can't get fancy. And there's the other one, the jade plant that I really don't need. But it was there. And we're going to water it. And that will hold the water there a little bit and it will slowly seep in.
That's it. I leave a watering can here so I can check on it. This is just some geranium also. I didn't even plant it yet. Let's see. I just put it in water. You shouldn't. Look at that roots right there. Here comes the roots. You can do it in water. You just take a chance. See, it was broke of rooting, of rotting if you do it that way. But this is no big deal. I got tons of it. I just had it and I stuck it in here in a little cup of water. And that's it. So I have to keep this well watered. I'll have to keep a close eye on it. But being in my little greenhouse enclosed, it should be fine. And that's it. Now we'll wait and see what happens. But geraniums are one of the easiest to propagate. And the kitty litter, it's not that important if you don't have it, but I have found that it holds the plants in place and it retains enough water that works perfect for propagating. So now I've got them in here. I showed you how I watered them. But let me show you what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a food container with some water in them. See, there's about oh, an inch, inch and a half of water in here. And because this is the one I really want to grow, the white geranium, I don't have white geraniums. I'm going to sit it in the water. It will continue to fill this cup up with water and retain water while it's trying to set root. I don't care about the jade plant. I should care, but I don't. Now, this will help it root. It's, it works fantastic. Take my word for it. Try it. The flower is not going to do anything. I'll tell you, it will bloom. It will continue to bloom. And it will remind me, that's the one I want to grow. So, isn't that cool? Yeah, these are just in water. So, that's why I know the water on the bottom will be fine for that plant. So let me show you one more thing. I will take a walk over here where the hummingbirds are. Like I said, don't tell anybody. Okay, see this plant? You've probably seen me show it off and on. That was a free plant. Same thing. It was a little tiny broken piece and I put it in the pot and I got it again. At, I don't remember what store I was at. It could have been Home Depot or Lowe's, but it was just a nothing. And at first it looked like it died. And I thought, oh no, this is a firecracker plant. But it didn't. Look, it's already getting ready to set flowers and I'm so excited. This was from almost, I don't think it's been a year, but it's probably been about nine months. So I got a free plant by having patience, which I don't always have, but I had patience, kept it well watered, kept the pot in water as well, and made sure there was always water to the plant, and I got myself a free plant. So when you go to, uh, to the hardware store, to the you know nursery, sometimes if you ask them, can I have that broken plant? I've had them say no. I don't know why, maybe they don't want to encourage people to break plants and, and get free plants, but they can't stop you if they're leaving carts in the parking lot with broken plants because they're loading their cars. So those are free games. So with that, I hope I gave you some tips and tricks. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Here's another cutting that's just sitting in a cup in here to look pretty until it gets roots. Then I'll clean off any of the brown leaves later. I should do it now and get that planted later on. That's a pink one. Here's another one in a tiny little pot, just sitting here and also rooted. This one, okay, so that looks like this. Oh, this was probably the flower. It did the same thing where I left the flower in there so I remembered what flower it was. It's pink. Now I've got the plant that looks really good. It's been in here for weeks and soon that will be ready to find its new home.